We are Tailgate Talk. Welcome into the show. I'm Matt Thomas. With me, we've got Trent Williams and coming from an undisclosed location, Kyle Schumann. Guys, how are we doing? Better than Kyle is. Yeah. Hey, I got to do what I got to do. I'm I'm captive in my dining room right now, but the, the yeah. birds play tonight. I was going to say, that. It, lo- it looks like Kyle got a, a case of the bird flu, if you know what I mean. I am sick. I took a, I took a sick day today. I'm I'm not sick. <laughs> not sick. Float up on Delsum. Yeah. yeah no, nothing's better than that. Yeah. Nothing's that better famous... than Coco, Coco fighting illness for three weeks. And then once he fully commits, it looks his desk is like a CVS store with all the medicine and drugs. I, I will hold out as long as I need to without getting medicine. But then when I know I need, I would, I'd drop like $150, $200 on medicine. So I'm, I'm checking, I'm checking Kyle's eyes for that famous video of the guy that's held captive and blinking SOS. Looks like it. We're all concerned, but I'm held captive, but I'm more, um, usually held more captive by being a Penn state fan. That's more of a purgatory prison ass type. Okay. Not, not, than... not, not the best segue, but we do have Penn state football to talk about. So let's just do it. Penn State wins 27 to 6 over Rutgers on Saturday. It was um it was a game. There was football played. I mean, we I were there. Think, yeah, it was cold. I mean, I think that's about all we can really say about it. There's really not much to to pull from this one. Um I mean, all right, like, let's start with what everybody wants to talk about. Drew Aller got hurt. Um was was an interesting sequence where he he takes a, a hit, looks like he's a little dazed and confused, stays in for a play, ends up throwing the ball out of bounds, and then gets off the field and then doesn't come back in. Yeah, he he didn't just throw a ball out of bounds. <laughs> he like I don't know how he even made that throw. I know it was know. like one of the worst worst throws I've ever seen in my life. It looked like a Sean Clifford throw. Like that would have been, we would have thought that was an actual pass last year, but no, it it was, it was weird at first. I like everyone immediately went to like the head originally for me. I thought he hurt his hand because he threw it and he was like, you know, motioning there, but then it came, became clear pretty early on that, that he hurt his, looks like he hurt his shoulder the way he was just kind of motioning on the sideline and all that kind of stuff throughout the game. So, um, in terms of, of his health, uh, James Franklin said today on Monday that he expects him to be full go. Or not not expects him to be full go. He expects him to be ready. So we'll see. We'll see. Short week. It's going to be an interesting dynamic. Yeah, it is. I, I think um, – what what did you think of the offense when Bo came in? Like, I, th- was I think – jump right to it? I, so different. I th- I think it was – well, I think it was a very, very easy excuse to just do what they wanted to do anyway because I was looking at this yesterday. Let me see if I can find it quickly. Like, in the first half, the the run splits, it was 17 to – 17 runs to six passes. So they clearly wanted to run the ball anyway. And then once they just brought in Perbula, it was just like, all right, well, we're – like. Now we have an excuse. We have our backup quarterback. So the, the, the issue with, with like when we were in Drew, like there, we like our most successful play that first half was the QB draw. I felt like just coming back and then having Drew, even Drew up the middle. But the issue with Drew not being as mobile, he's not as prepared to like protect himself as Bo is, can be more elusive and be more of a ball carrier, be more of an athlete. That's the issue with you put yeah. Drew in the situation, you get lit up then. When he runs, it, I'm not to say it's not effective because it works. It just he, looks... he's not slow. He, he he's not slow, but he's not as quick as a McSorley. He's not as quick no. as a. But he slow. looks slow. Like I know what you're saying. He's not slow, but it looks like slow motion compared to everything we've seen. Yes, it looks unnatural. It looks like you know the the baby giraffe. Like it it just doesn't look good, but it, it works. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he had he had averaging nine point six yards a carry before he got he got hit, so it was working well. But yeah, and then and then Bo comes in and they he leads the team in rushing with seventy one yards, but Penn State throws which is one also pass. not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Penn State throws one pass in the second half, taking a play out of Michigan's playbook. Can't beat him, join him, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah. What did what did oh. we think? Go ahead. Nah, I'm sure we're going to the same spot. Play calling. Yeah, I, I mean, 
it's a little different in terms of variety. Like, you know, they brought in the bow package earlier, even before Aller got hurt. They took some deeper shots in the red, like it kind of on the fringe of that red zone area that I don't think we, we saw before that. But other than that, like, I don't think there was too much of a difference. Like, obviously you didn't expect it to be a massive change, but I was going to say, you're not going to expect a huge shakeup in a week's time. It's not like, you know, uh, interim coordinator is going to implement a whole new playbook in a in a week's time, and you're going to see this big shakeup. But I do feel the play calling was a little more balanced um, with the deep shots there, and it did feel a little more aggressive. That being said, it didn't necessarily result in I'm about to say the a better a better offensive performance. The attempts I see I think seem better, but the play called the execution was still very not you know not desired. The event the, well the outcome we got wasn't what we wanted. I feel like a lot of those it's a little clunky, but I feel like the play calling was at least more like a return more aggressive. So yeah. whatever that's I mean, worth. Ten, ten points in the first half. Um you know, what was it, 136 total yards? Like, didn't look that great to start, for sure. Um, we're, we're Iowa with better athletes at this point. I mean, really, we're spread Iowa. That's Iowa that's had another solid win. They, they always just they keep... get that, get that. They're losing, they're trailing, and they just get that one score they need near the end of the game, and it's just enough to. It would have be, been so funny if Iowa would have beaten Minnesota, and then there's like just one last Iowa hanging around there. Coming into championship weekend, that was so funny. But no, no way they're they make they would make the playoff in that case. But yeah, but yeah, it it is the one. I mean, as much as we hate the Big Ten setup, Josh Pate made a good point on his pod. Like, could you imagine if Ohio State and Michigan played this week? They turned around, and played again a week later in the Big Ten championship. And then they both make the playoffs, turn around and play each other for a third straight game in the playoffs. It would be crazy. Like, so I guess that's the one added benefit of the Big Ten championship game is prevents that back to back same game, which for, recently w- would be the same game back to back for one year. For one year, at least. You know, next year we'll see what happens. But, but yeah, I mean, getting back to Penn State, I mean, I think, I think they, they didn't, they didn't let Bo throw, which, Okay, I mean, it kind of seems like it's the the Will Levis, Tommy Stevens thing all over again. But he did about as well as you could have wanted him to, I think, in that situation. Yeah, I, I don't think there was a need to for him to throw by the time he came in. And then, two, it's like one of those things where, like, Rutgers had no sign of life. The last thing you'd want would be a bad pick six or something to give them that sign of life when it probably wasn't needed. Well, yeah, but that, I, I'm with you. I mean, I certainly would help his development to let him throw. Yeah, it feel it feels like we just constantly have one quarterback on the team, and if that if that quarterback gets hurt, we just basically turn yeah. into Navy. You know, well, not not the year we had Taquan Robertson. Then we had two. Yeah, yeah, we saw how that we saw how that worked out. But so, do we have a QB controversy? Well, no, but we it's it's way closer to a controversy than it, I ever thought it would be to start the year. I'll say that it's still not a controversy, it, but it's, is there is there anything to what Franklin said about there being like at the beginning of the season? Franklin was saying, "Oh, it's still an open competition. It's clo- it's a it's a close competition." Is there anything to that that maybe no. Bo is is no. good? I, no. I, I'm not saying he's not, but I don't think it's a competition. I think this confirms what fans have been begging for is get him in the game i agree with that get, get get him in the game he should have been in the game against ohio state should have been in the game against michigan get him in there come up with sets for him his legs are they're they're a weapon they're they are a weapon especially when a defense is not coming out to attack a running quarterback i think there's not a quarterback competition or controversy but it confirms our thoughts that he should be playing. Well, he's going to, regardless of, of whether or not Aller plays or not on Friday night against Michigan State. Um, but I think we will definitely see more of Bocarilla. So, um, in other I, news, I, the- I think just just like Rutgers, though, I don't think we need Drew to beat Michigan State. It's it's really like going back last year. Like, I think 
with a lower level competition, I think Drew could have beaten some of the lower level teams at the end of the season that we played last year. I think yeah. this year we can use Bo. Like, why why risk Drew further injury? Like, why we don't need that at this so point now, of the season. So now I can run the headline that you want Drew Aller to be benched, right? That, that would be yeah. Good. Just like, yeah. like Matt, I mean, just like just like Matt wants Nick Singleton to transfer out, and he that you know, that is. I don't know. Kyle. Drew Drew has not looked like this star-studded quarterback where you're, you're like, all right, he doesn't need any like he needs every ounce of development. He needs every ounce of game he can get. That and that's that's why I think we haven't seen him pulled out of games. You know, even games early on when we've had a commanding lead and he's still in there, it's it's less of like, oh, get him out of there. We can't afford him to get hurt. It's more of keep him in there because we he needs every rep he can get. I guess what I'm saying is. I I still think Drew's better than Bo. I just think for this game, if Drew's not 100%, why risk further injury? We should beat Michigan State with Bo. I, I know what you're saying. I mean, I mean maybe I won't go 100%. If he's 60%, then yeah. But if, if he's close to healthy and just yeah. has a little, I, I don't, he has to play. Yeah. And from all all sounds, it seems like he's going to. But, but yeah. So um, in other news, defense is phenomenal. Still, yeah. Where'd that come from? Trump Robinson's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not negative forty nine rushing yards. It's not you know, no points at all. But I mean, Rutgers offense it wasn't that great. Better probably than years past, but six points. Um, you know, two three turnovers again in the backfield constantly. It's about as good as you could, about as good as you could hope from them. When Rutgers came out and started moving the ball pretty with with ease, really against us, did any yeah. part of you guys think, "Uh oh"? I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be one of these <laughs> games again. Like it's it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, an Indiana repeat, or you know, like yeah, it, yeah." There was a there was a moment where it's like, "Oh shit, this is happening." But yeah, yeah. I do trust our defense this year. That we're wasting, that, a, we're, we're wasting a championship level defense. You know that could be could, could be worse, nice. could be could, worse. You know, could could be USC. I just to put things into perspective. As as down and out as we get about Penn State's ten and two season with a pot, I think likely another New Year's six appearance. We could be Auburn. We could be USC. Oh, they, well, they, just <laughs> like, lost, they just lost to who? New Mexico or New Mexico State New, or some New crap Mexico, like that. New Mexico State. Do they pay I think I, point, one point yeah. eight million dollars to it's come in? They were a twenty some point favorite and lost by twenty some points. Bad. Like that's next level bad. And then USC, like I mean, what? well, what New Mexico State doesn't make looks what uh makes it look like what would be. Oh my God! Let me start over again. It's been a long day. Sound like me right what, now? Yeah. I know. <laughs> what, what, that, what? Uh, well, I'm trying to say. I'm tr- trying to say that Sean Clifford should be uh, should be benched. What New Mexico State did makes what we did last year to Auburn not seem so great now. They just showed that you could just go and trounce them in Jordan Air. Anyway, continue. Uh, USC. No, USC. Yeah, USC. Oh my! Like, what was the final score of that game? Which one? Like the, the USC game. I, I know they were down by a lot. I didn't see the end result of that game because I don't. I don't, really... I, don't, I don't know what the final score was because USC has become. They went from a uh, people claiming they're a playoff contender, national championship contender, to pretty much a yeah. five hundred team. Start six and zero, and then finish the season one and five. It's like crazy. Yeah, and, and it, it the thing about it is now it's and, and thirty I, thirty eight twenty. You can you can make the same argument that some Penn State fans have tried to make when our defenseless look poor. It's like, well, why should the offense go out there and kill themselves, or why should our defense go out there and kill themselves each week when the offense just doesn't do anything? I think there's a little bit of that creeping in the USC where the offense is just like, you know, we don't care anymore. Like well, we could put up eighty, where our defense still isn't going to let us win a game, type thing. But it, it is concerning if you're a USC fan. It does, you know does make me feel a little better as a Penn State fan that USC went out and got the big name guy. They they went out there and got Lincoln Riley, who you know they thought was going to – they stole him from a huge school in Oklahoma and thought it was going to be this overnight success, and it's not. And I think there's if there's one thing that we're seeing here is a lot of Penn State fans that want to get rid of Franklin, 
immediately say like, oh, with the transfer portal now, if you get the right coach, you can overnight, you could be a, a success. And I think we're seeing every program across the country. That's not the case. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, the vibes out there are not very good. Um, So like, I've heard a lot of people say like, oh, next year, Penn State, they need to be a big, like they need to beat Ohio State, they need to beat USC. Like, I don't know if beating USC, like, that's well, not the win a, that everyone thinks it is. It's a narrative change, at least. We don't have to say we need to beat Michigan. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we need to beat Washington. We need to beat Oregon. Um, Yeah, but yeah. So it could, so, could be worse. Yeah, so be before, we tr- before we transition to US, uh, not USC, the Michigan State game, um. I guess another thing I just want to bring up is who 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 are you looking to see us play in a bowl game? Me personally, I'd love to see us play the best. I, I want to go see us play in Alabama. I want to go see us play a, a Oregon, Oregon or a Washington. Yeah. I want to see us play a team where it says, it like, feels, I don't want to go play Tulane because no, it, it's a lose-lose. It, it feels like a playoff game without it being a playoff game. That's what we want. Yeah, it, It'd be a playoff game next year if that would make sense, like a, that level of a competition. Yeah, not a and it, it's not even about like the game, obviously, because if you're not in the playoffs. But I want to see what does this team look like against an Alabama or an Oregon who really is a playoff contender team this year. It's just that because of the nature of the way this season's unfolded, we have a lot of playoff caliber teams, and a couple are going to be left out. I'd love to see us play one of those. Right. Trent, Trent Sportsbook, Penn State against Alabama and Penn State against Oregon. Where are those lines right now? Uh, neutral site, so probably a little less, but um, both over five. I think so. I think, around so that. I think so less than a touchdown, but I, I agree with I think it would be more the – I'd say around, around that. that and, and it should be, but this, this is, you know, one thing I said where – We've seen Franklin coach well in some some of his some games that Utah. I mean, you go back to the you, even the Auburn game. I, I still give him a lot, a lot of credit for that Auburn game, and that was a big game. I know Auburn wasn't good, and we just emphasized that. But the question becomes: I mean, we've seen him win bowl games against good teams. Is it just a Michigan and Ohio State thing? Or can we not beat any good team in a big game? Well, maybe we'll find out. Hopefully. Maybe we'll, we'll see. Find out and then we'll see how that translates to next year. But speaking of big games, the only big game that matters is Friday night, Michigan State, Ford Field, Detroit, City of – I'm not going to go there because – I don't want to get shadow banned, but I, I threw up my mouth twice during that sentence. Detroit and Friday night. Yeah. yeah. Neither of those things sound appetizing. That's a Thanksgiving tradition to play Michigan State on a Friday night. Land Grant trophy. Beautiful land Kyle. Grant trophy. Ugly trophy. Beautiful. It's like, trophy. It's like, it's like what Trent could throw together. What Trent could probably build a better trophy than what's gonna say. Kyle, that's an insult. You think I would Build a trophy to look like that is an insult. That that's what I would expect. That I would expect that to be your project. Like that's the that's the project. Kyle's so proud of to take home to his mom, and she's like, "Oh, great, mm-hmm. Kyle! You did. I'm so proud of you." It's the trophy that they use, though. So it looks like something I would make, but they use it, and I don't know why. It's a it was tradition. Tradition. <laughs> I I mean. So, yeah, there's Michigan State is not very good. They're four and seven, two and six in the Big Ten. Har- uh, Harlan Barnett has done about as good as he can do, I think, with what Given the circumstances you know, he had this year. Yeah, the circumstances, the Mel Tucker, and all that kind of stuff. Um, Tuck coming. Hey, now this is a family show. <laughs> you can't have that. But like. Again, this it's another game. It's yet another game where it's what do we want to see out of Penn State? So, what do we want to see out of Penn State? I, I, it's it it's so Just hard win. to answer this because well, yeah, I mean, of course we need to win. That that's obvious. But no, Kyle, go beyond that, Kyle. We we want to see improvement 
in areas like I, I I'd like to see a Maryland game, honestly. And I know it doesn't mean much because we had the Maryland game and then turned around and laid an egg against Michigan right after. But I, I want to see a Maryland game. I want to see a game where we look crisp offensively, where Drew looks crisp, our receivers look crisp. Our defense is going to be our defense. Uh, that There's no doubt in my mind about that. I, I want to see a repeat of Maryland. A repeat of that is as likely as me jumping in the duck pond. I'm just I'm just going to be used to mediocrity with this team. Just win, win by, win ugly by 10. I don't care. Just win and go to New York Six Bowl. I don't care. I was told that. I was told that I was supposed to put a ton of stock in that Maryland game, by the way. So just pointing that out. I mean, can we get can we get the wide receivers involved, maybe? Like beyond one catch? Yeah. Can we can we get the ball to them? It's it's, another, it's, 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 it's two things that they go together. It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean Keandre Lambert Smith with one reception in the last like hundred and sixty three snaps. Like it's it is crazy. Uh-huh. Like I'm called the I'm be surprised the key transfer out too. I called the long ball to Amari Evans and Matt wouldn't even give me credit for it. Well, you can't say it every play for like two drives and then when it finally <laughs> well, happens, be like, ah, yeah, I called it. Well, that's because we sit in front of the opposing team's box, not ours. It took some time for the word to get over to them. Yeah, that makes sense. You would think Rutgers would have been a little bit better, better prepared for that though. Yeah, they, they don't want to be like Michigan. They they had earplugs and they're like, oh, we're going to be the furthest thing from stealing signs because we're a program of integrity. The Shiano way. It's one way to look at it. That's one way to look at it. I, I love how Michigan I, holds up the signs over the the, the cameras all the time. So it's just, you almost, you almost got to appreciate it at this point. Like They're America's team. Yep. <laughs> Rex team Harbaugh. Did, did, Dallas, did, did, did I see they had? Fa- did I see they had fans rush the field? Yes, against yes, against Maryland. At, yes, at Maryland. At Maryland. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was kind of funny. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Good for them. Yeah, because yeah, they got their. Well, also they got yeah they got their thousandth win or whatever the hell it was. I, I I knew that, but it's not the rushing the field. It's it's so funny. It's you're rushing the field at an away venue. That's that's the crazy part. When Can't you're wait. what like twenty point favorites. Can't I can't wait for the last three years of wins to get vacated and we get to to watch them get to a thousand again. A milestone so nice they had to do it twice. So. You hear like the PA announcer at Maryland going, please get off the field, fans, please get off the field. They're just trying to find the RV lot like you guys last year. It's hard to find. So I hear. Campground. Well, they don't, no, they didn't have Trent and my dad leading them back. Hey, me and your dad make a good team. Two smart men led you astray one time. Sorry. One time you led you astray like about eight times on that same trip back. It took oh, four hours yeah. to get home. Kyle, even the best generals lost a few battles. It's all right. Okay. Okay, custard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, 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 would, that would be it. Every now and then, Coco lands a good one. <laughs> Coco, Coco landed a good one. Okay. Um. Not like that one. Look at that. Yeah, it was good. I like, I like my history. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, other than like speechless. Yeah. I don't, Still not over. It was solid. I mean, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to think that what I could possibly want to see from Penn State out of a you know a four win opponent. Can Nick Singleton maybe run? Just the ball not a little lose. Bit? Yeah, just not lose. A, I guess. a Nick Singleton ADR run would be awesome. Yeah, a, a breakout run from either their back over forty yards would be awesome. Yeah. Who who was it when we were in the in the in the red zone? Um I think it was Singleton. Yeah, there was like a, a huge hole on the left hand side. That was Michigan, you're saying? No, the no, it was, no, it was oh, last okay. too. Again? Last yeah. We were literally we were talking about we the, walk, the three of us could have walked the three of us could have walked in. That it yeah. that yeah. All he had to do was take like two steps to the left and he was two steps there. left. Uh, I seen the one like against Olu uh, had a nice like washout block down. It was just yeah, yeah, wouldn't have been an explosive run, but I mean, it was God. It was I, right I probably missed that. I'm too busy listening to John cry that his pants were wet from his seat again. Well, that was unexpected. I didn't expect it to be wet up there, but yeah. Well, at least you have a seat back. Yeah, well, that's that's your fault. <laughs> that's your fault. You should have ordered one. Yeah. Don't don't come <laughs> complaining to me. Can, can we even put Michigan State preview on this title? It's like, what, what do you preview? 
think we who, who, uh, who cares about this? Like, who, who's looking at this matchup? Like, who, who's look? I want to know who's out there saying like, "Oh, Penn State has the edge in this group." But this, they have. It's like N- who NBC. Cares? NBC is looking at this matchup. NBC and Peacock. Yeah, that's that's who NBC. Todd Blackledge. That's who they're going to use this as some pregame analysis. We said about three sentences about the game. <laughs> yeah. That's all you're going to get from us. It's because you just keep cutting me off. Yeah. We're an um, opinion pod. I see here that uh, Michigan State is 69th. Nice. And explosive play defense. So Nice. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Um. All right. Well, not that I don't have more to say about Michigan State, but we said I don't think you do. I don't think you do. We we said we were going to cut this, keep this to a half hour, so let's keep it to a half hour. Coco, prediction time. Let's go. Yeah, pull it up right here. We are favored (laughs) by twenty-one. So, Matt, what do you got for that? Uh, yeah, I think I think we'll cover. Let's thirty-eight, thirty-eight, ten. Which I'm pretty sure is what I picked for uh the that also that, you said thirty eight ten Matt? Yeah. That's also the over because the over under is forty two. We're getting we're getting down near some gross big ten total points here. Did your mom just take the over or under? I don't know, she's yelling there for something. Yeah. Okay. Trent, what do you got? <laughs> I had um yeah, we better get off before the Eagles game starts. Um uh, you'll be hearing some F bombs <laughs> dropped here. Um I actually think I like Michigan State to cover. It's a lot of points. Over, over under 42 and a half. Ooh, uh, under. Under. I'll take us in the over. I f- let um, it be known that Trent is not believed. What do you say, Matt? Let it be known that Trent does not believe. He no longer, longer believes. When he signed was too nice to throw away, so I kept it. But you're just gonna bring it to all of our big games. No. Yeah. Neither. Uh how about this big game on Friday? We got Iowa, Nebraska that over under is twenty six and a half right now. Oh, is that the one everyone keeps calling the game? I think so. Yeah, I think I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> the ugly guy. That that total's too low. I gotta go over. I gotta go over. Trent, <laughs> I hate these things. It's funny because I think the I think the last three Iowa like totals all went under. I, they always go under, and I I can't comprehend it. But mine won't let me. Um, I, I have to. I'm gonna take the under, and the one time I do, it's gonna be over because it's like, well, no duh, it's gonna be over. But I'll take the under. I agree with my twenty six and a half points. Is it's that, that can be hit by the third quarter, but it should be hit for a normal game. But it it's almost like it it happened on accident. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I'm sick of I'm sick of being wrong. So <laughs> I'm I'm taking the under. Now for the actual game, uh, Ohio State at Michigan game of the week. Michigan's favored by three and a half. Ohio State. Ohio State for Trent. Matt. Ohio State has to win. I can't take these Michigan folks anymore. Ohio State's got to win. Uh, I think I think Michigan wins, and then Ryan Day gets fired in the off season. That is not happening. I just see chaos. If my team if, can't if, win, if, if Ryan Day gets fired, then I know. 130 teams that should hire him. The only way Ryan Day gets fired is if Ohio State has a belief or Meyer is coming back. He's going to Michigan State, clearly. So That's I hear all I, got. I hear Urban's gonna coach this weekend against Michigan State, lead him to an upset first game. All right, last call. Let's get this over with. Trent's got to study. So no last uh, call from me. Oh, you're not even gonna participate. Okay. That's good. Don't don't have a question. Well, while you're thinking about one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Last call. And I hope it's one of yours now. If you had a choice, a realistic choice, who do you want our offensive coordinator to be? Where are the highest in the FCS is right now? The highest offense in the FCS. Bring them up. I'm, I'm, going, hungry. I'm, go, I'm going with Jomo. 
I, I honestly do think he might just be a fit. I, I think it's going to be Jomo, honestly. I don't know. if I think I think everyone's setting themselves up to be let down with that decision. But, um, you know, outside I would of hate him, it. Maybe Sean Lewis, mm. Colorado, stuff like that. That could be that could be something too. Um, I I like the Hackenberg floppy. He's he's he knocked off Ohio State at Penn State. Turned around, went to Oregon, knocked him off again. I, give me him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's let's follow it up right there. Uh, over or under that the offensive coordinator will be hired before championship weekend. Over or under in before or after. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was like trying to see which one's over yeah. versus under. Um, It'd be nice if that hired before, just so I can see like well, Franklin mentioned he he would prefer that. So I think before. I he, met, he, go before. he said he said before the bowl game. I'm saying before conference. Oh, before okay. Okay. So like, so like I think, next I think week. That, I think you did bowl game. You're right. You did say that. I interpreted it as bowl game as I well. Um, even though I don't know why you clearly said championship weekend. I'm, I'm going to go after then. Yeah. I think it'll be like right before the bowl game. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Although I wouldn't be surprised if, if we start seeing some things pick up steam next week, though. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't shock me. One well, minute. you are an insider. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Coco, you got anything? So I put here other than uh wide receivers in the transfer portal this offseason, where do you want to see Penn State maybe start honing in on some talent in the transfer portal? Not not uh, recruit. Uh wide receiver. I said other than wide receiver. And I chose wide receiver. <laughs> yeah. So just double down on wide receiver. Just, wide, we get one, wide, just get another one. Wide receiver. Other than wide receivers, wide receivers. Yeah. <laughs> um other than wide receivers, probably probably offensive line. I was yeah, say maybe another like edge rusher since we're losing you know, chop and probably in the designs. I, I, I just feel like our edge rushers we like I think Sutton's gonna be a stud. Like I, I just feel like they're always the next man steps up. We lose guys and another stud appears. Same at linebacker. We always just seem to have that one guy. So I, I think uh, offensive line could still use some help. I was gonna say defensive interior, but either side, either side of that that off that line line of scrimmage. So you prefer an extra wide receiver instead? Yeah, I would sacrifice. <laughs> I would trade. I would trade. Coco. What uh, was your answer? <laughs> pressure? Is that you said? You said you said I would trade. No, I just said I was just saying I would trade. Would trade his answer oh. for. I said I would trade a wide receiver. I thought they're going to fill that out and go no. for what? Oh, no. No. Madeline. Uh, no, my, my answer was my answer was the my answer was the end. This I feel yeah. like with chopping these Isaac leaving. They said yeah, Smith will yeah. be back, but I feel like we need one more. But yeah, wide receiver. Well, <laughs> All right, oh, my shoot. final question, Kyle. How much longer to your interrogation ends? Uh, we got what two more this podcast probably. I'm blinking twice here. It's cool. They're, they 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 should let, let you order pizza to this place before the podcast. Ordered pizza here, so uh, uh, pretty much. I mean, it's one of them white collar prisons. Oh well, yeah, you've been living there for free for how many months now? Yeah, works out. <laughs> oh shoot, we forgot to do our playoff. <laughs> the the only thing is they don't let him get outside for exercise. Yeah. He's in he's in solitary confinement. <laughs> Apparently they couldn't turn a light on either. I'm gonna have to. I have one light right above me. It's just it's one of those like swinging lights on like one one little strand. Just looks like it. Could up the wattage on that bolt a little bit. All right, all right, yeah. Let's get out of here. Uh, like, subscribe. We appreciate you watching. Shout shout out to our viewers, man. Record breaking numbers for this pod the last couple episodes. Yeah, there really must not be anything else on YouTube, but. You know, hey, we're Matt's just influencing the algorithm. Yeah, fingers on the scale, fingers on the scale. But all clicks all right. are good clicks. Yeah, have a happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Don't eat too much. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So, Coco, don't get into any fights with your your family over no. politics. No, not yet. No, don't like don't like granddad getting into any fights with. You. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Move on.
All right. We'll see you next week, maybe. <laughs> Recap the Michigan State game and look ahead to the bowl. We are. Maybe. We'll get up. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. See what I feel. All right. That's it. See you.